Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Santa Fe with a 2.4 engine guys. And you need to guys, uh, you need to find the torque specs for the camshaft caps bearings. Stay with us, we'll explain that as we go. Sequence specs, all that will be shared in this video today guys. You don't need to remove the engine to do that repair. We simply have it out that uh, because we'll be making hundreds of videos that can potentially save you thousands of dollars. And with the engine being out, we can clearly show you where everything is located guys now uh, before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you now if you guys need to buy any tools parts for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from so with that being said let's explain here now okay what we have and uh, what we'll be uh, what we'll be working on so right here now guys okay that's the engine okay that's the 2.4 gdi engine that we have out of a hyundai santa fe so uh the procedure is complicated guys okay for the camshaft cap so uh, we will explain why why now we need to we're going to have different groups of bolts okay that that group right here is known as a group a this here is known as a group b this one here and this one here is known as a group C. So we're going to do group A first, guys. We need to set for the first step the torque wrench at 5.9 newton meters. Okay, 5.9. So we're going to do that. Okay, let's see. We're at 3. Okay, right there. Perfect. So 5.9 newton meters. And we're going to do now, okay, these bolts right here. Okay, until we hear a click and you stop immediately. Listen now, everything needs to be lubricated. Make sure that you have proper lubrication on the valves and everything as well. Perfect. Now we're going to do this here. Okay, great. Now, perfect. Now, we're going to get the big, uh, bigger torque wrench and we're going to do group B, which is the M8 bolts, and those will be at 14.7 Newton meters, guys. And we're going, okay, we have ours preset already, and we're going to go ahead, okay, and do this for bolts. We're first going to get the slack out of it. 14.7 Newton meters on these bolts. Okay, and once we do that, we'll be looking, we'll be expecting that clicking. Listen now. That's it. Perfect. Now, next step, guys. We need to do get the small wrench now, okay, and with the small wrench, we're going to do uh, another group, okay, which is known as group C. We're going to go ahead, do those here, okay, and at last we'll do this here. We have it set again at 5.9 Newton meters, okay, what we had before. So we're going to go ahead, okay, do that now. So... We can do them by hand a little bit. Okay, and listen for that click. Just careful not to over torque them, right? To check the torque on this one one more time. All right, working now on the on the other one. Now this one's here. It's more complicated than getting the cylinder head tied, the sequence and everything else. So, <coughs> working on these two now. When we're done, we're not done all the way. Now we need to do these two, these four bolts, these two caps actually. <coughs> the same thing because they're M6 bolts. Six millimeter bolt. Actually it's a 10 millimeter head, but it's a six millimeter bolt. 
Perfect. Step number two, guys. We need to set our little wrench between 10.8 and 12.7 newton meters. So we're going to do it at about 11 hours. 11 and a half. Okay. And we will start in exactly the same sequence now. So we need to, okay, newton meters. Okay, that's perfect, right there, 11.5. So we're going to start with group A right here. Listen for that click. Now we're going to get the big twos and we're going to set it between 27.5 and 31.4, guys. So we'll do it at about 30 newton meters, 3 zero, 30 newton meters. Okay, and we'll be expecting that click now. Once we hear the click, we stop immediately, right? Perfect. Now we do the same thing, guys, for group C. Later, which are these bolts here with the little wrench now. Nope, 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 the, this one's here. Here, okay, we need to do those now. We did group A already there. Don't over torque them, you have to be careful, okay. Now, <laughs> right here is our last part of group C. And from that point, guys, once you do that, you're ready to install, okay, the camshaft gears and you're ready to install the timing chain, which we'll have a video on our channel as well. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time.